Garage channel back here again. I'm about to talk about the future plans and updates to this mower. But before I do that, I want to give a subscriber shout out to all to 10 of the 19 that have subscribed to me in the last two to three months <clears throat> or past year since I've done it. Because I know it's been a long time since I've done it. But first on the list is Paint Boy 212 Murray Mods. Jake's Auto Garage MTD 12 HP Turbo, then Josh Keeling, Griffin 129, Rick Brooks, George Gardner or Gardner, Tamara Baker, John Reynolds or Reynolds, however you want to say it, and Jonathan Hoban. Thank you all for subscribing, and I want to go back up to this name right here, Josh Keeling. He is he knows his knowledge about these mowers especially like the colors if I have if you have a question for me and I can't answer it I'll probably send you over to him either him or the one and only fearless front but on from that talk about the plans on this thing hopefully here in the next week or so hopefully I'm just crossing my fingers right now I'm gonna get a Murray widebody LT, the famous M Murray widebody that Fearless Front has. But I think it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be red. That's gonna be original color. Probably gonna leave the original colors for a while. But going on from that, what I'm gonna do is take these rear tires off of here with the spacers and everything. And take them and put them take the tire all four tires off of it an ignition system engine the belt pulley system I think the rear pulley and some other things definitely the new tether switch I haven't even said something about that yet but I got a brand new tether switch as you can see right there I had to wire it up with a relay I'll sh probably show that when I possibly when I tear the whole thing apart and put it on the Murray Hopefully I get that Murray. See, this Murray was not the Murray I wanted. This was a 1997-98 Murray Widebody GT or LT, one of the two. It has the annoying dash column center console. And the other thing is the body pan. It ain't flush all the way through. It's like goes over and then dips down and dips up. But the plans with this thing is I'm going to take everything off of it and put it onto that Murray. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take the transaxle and evident, of course not this transaxle but I'm going to try to get another spicer for it. Take it out of its original location and take it flip it like with axles are like this way on the, the right side and have where it has I'm gonna cut them off short on each side and probably keyway them both ends and have a drive shaft going down to the front and drive shaft going down to the rear and I'm gonna have a differential back here and up there I'm gonna put like dural thrashers not these ones but another set put them up there and put a set of agricultural tires like paddle tires on the rear here and I'm going to make it a 4x4 four four mower. Everyone I've seen that has done a 4x4 four four mower wants to do the dual transmissions. All I want is one. It's probably going to be pretty geared low. It's not going to be up there in the gear ratios. It's probably going to be geared up to the point where I can probably get into a mud hole and get out. But to that point I'll let y'all know. Until then, comment, rate, subscribe if you already haven't, because I like that kind. And you check out my Google Plus and my Facebook. If you have noticed, I've been posting all the links in the description. And I have posted all the links in the description of what I have put on this tractor. Like the air filter to the switch, the 
that uh, the voltage meter, the headlights, and the, all the other LEDs on here, and the catch can, uh, the tires, and that's pretty much it for now. But until then, comment, rate, subscribe, check out my Google Plus, and find me on Facebook. And all the links are down in the description of the uh, stuff I've put on here. So, go check that out. That's pretty awesome.